Hello, I am Akshay Giri with Bentley Systems. In this video, we'll explore how Sewer Gems provides us a comprehensive modeling for design and analysis of storm, sanitary, and combined sewer systems. Today, we will focus on project setup, selection of numerical solver, and create prototypes. We'll specify about default and recurring values for elements in the storm sewer network by using the tools in Sewer Gems. Let's get started. First, we set up the project. We select the Create New Hydraulic Model option. From the File menu, we save the new project as Storm Sewer Analysis. We'll set the drawing mode to schematic as we are not fixing any scale. To do this, we return to the file menu and select options. We set the units to US customary and we check the labeling. In Storm CAD, numerical solver will be set up automatically for the desired solver. We go to Analysis option or click on Options in Home tab to open Base Calculation options. Here, we set the Active Numerical Solver to GVF Rational Method, which is applicable only for storm water systems. We set the Gravity Friction Method to Mannings and pressure friction method to Hazen Williams. Next, we will create some prototypes for our elements. We go to View and open Prototypes Manager from the Ribbon Toolbar. For this example, we will create prototypes for Catch Basin, Conduit, Transition, and outfall elements. In Prototype Manager, we create our first catch basin prototype by right clicking on Catch Basin and select New Option. This creates Catch Basin Prototype 1 with its properties displayed on the right side of the screen. For instance, we consider inlet type as Person Capture with Capture Efficiency 100%. As inlet in SAG captures 100% of the flow and thus there is no bypass flow. We will set the values accordingly. We choose inlet location as in SAG. And use head loss method as standard with a head loss coefficient of 0.5. To create prototypes for conduits, we return to the Properties dialog box and select Conduit and proceed with a new conduit prototype. We set the user-defined length to True and length as 300 feet. We select Conduit Type as Catalog Conduit. Sewer Gems has constraint based predefined information which is stored in engineering library. Let us now import Conduit Catalog from library. We expand the Conduit's library.xml and select Circle Concrete. This imports the properties and sizes of all circular concrete conduits from the engineering library to our project's Conduit library. Now, we fix the size as 12 inches for all circular conduits. For outfall, let's set boundary condition type to free outfall. 
with ground elevation of 100 feet and an invert elevation of 95 feet. To set the prototype for transition, we create it from the prototypes menu. We insert a transitional length of 4 feet and set head loss method to standard with a head loss coefficient of 0.5. At this point, we have successfully set up the project and created the prototypes for the layouts component. We will see you next time. Until then, thank you.